Yo, what is good everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hopefully you guys are having an awesome day filled with only positive vibes. So today's video, we're gonna be giving you guys the worst gunsmith builds you can possibly build. So do not build these next season. I made it so that you guys do not have to. It's basically to prepare you guys for next season, which is gonna be a video I'm gonna be dropping really, really soon. So if you guys are interested in that video, show me some love, 500 likes, and we will work on that video as soon as possible. And yes, a lot of people are like, Hitman, you only post these gunsmith builds that are overpowered that means that everything's overpowered no not everything's going to be overpowered as you guys will see in this video and this is all going to be from my stream so if you haven't joined me live make sure to join me live on trovo.live slash dhitman which is going to be the first pinned comment so hopefully you guys enjoyed the rest of the video and i'm gonna see you guys at the end obviously we're going to start off with the first one which is going to be a shotgun class it is the striker initially i thought the striker was going to be good because i thought they were going to boost the damage if we go ahead and check, we're actually going to be able to show you guys once we get into the training. The striker literally does the same amount of damage. It's going to be eight per uh, 10 damage per bullet, up to 8 bullets, and it doesn't have bird shot. So unlike the HS2126, as you guys will see in a second, this HS2126 has the potential to still one-tap someone within that burst range, even at long range. So you can kill multiple people. That's why this one is a better one. Still viable. Still can potentially be broken. BY15, HS04. And HSO, as well as the KRM, those are all shotguns that can be very much broken, especially since you just basically make the spread a little bit smaller. This right now is glitch. I have the slug round on it. It shoots only one bullet. So you can see 10 damage. And that's because it's a slug round and it's slug round is glitch. But I actually tested the slug round in game and it's approximately two times, not two times, but like it does 2.5, three times the damage. So it's about 30 damage. So it's still a three tap. So uh, we're going to go ahead and show you guys uh, real quick the other gun that we're going to talk about, which is going to be a PDW. Surprisingly, the PW, you will see, I'll explain once we get into the modding page, but rate of fire is pretty good. The damage is pretty good. But then again, if you compare it to some of its predecessors or not even predecessors, competitors, it just doesn't hold up. The recoil is like, okay, but you'll understand afterwards why when i go to the mods now let me just go ahead and put the other striker back on so you guys can see that i'm not joking when i'm talking about the striker this is the base striker all right you guys will tell if we bring it back closer you can see all right just look at the pellets there is currently eight pellets two four six eight we we'll just make sure two four six eight if we take a shot 30 damage there we'll actually try to 10 damage so it didn't get a buff so it is actually pretty, pretty bad. So that's why you can't use the striker it is God awful. That's one of the guns that will not even be close to broken next season, unless they buff the damage. If they buff the damage to like a 12, you have the potential to one, not even 12, it has to be 13, something like that, or 15 per bullets. Then you have a chance to one tap and then you can potentially kill multiple people. Now we're going to show you guys the PW and why it's going to be god awful if you compare it to all other SMGs. The Razorback, which is you typically compare to the same gun, has way better damage. 30 damage close range. Recoil very similar. The mag you can actually upgrade, which you can't in PDW. It does have a lower mag, however, but it has better damage and better time to kill. Chicken, you can actually have that one tap potential or that one burst potential where you kill in within the first three. RUS can go to super speed build. MSMC also can go with that no recoil kind of build. HG40 has a fast time to kill. Pharaoh has that one burst potential. GKS has a great damage just like the HG40. Cordite is the Cordite. It has a broken um, broken hip fire. QQ9 is a QQ9 that can have a speed build as well as the low recoil build. So first things first, you will notice you don't have a, a slot for the, I guess, the ammo. So you can't have any magazine on this, which is could be a drawback, but also not that bad. It's literally 50 bullets, which could be worse, but still not bad. Now, here's the important part. There is no no stock. You can't run the no stock to give you guys more movement speed, and you can't actually use the barrel that gives you movement speed. You can go with the damage range boost, but your damage is already pretty poo-poo, so there's really no point, and there's nothing unique about these. Your optics, sure, whatever, it doesn't really matter, but none of these are really important, so there's no like high upside build. You will not have a high upside kind of build. You know what I mean? Not really great tier when it comes to a SMG. And that's why I, th I think this gun is not going to be broken at all and not going to be used at all. Can't tell you exactly what's going to be top tier, but I can tell you exactly what's going to be bottom tier. Now, next up, we go to LMG. I'm going to talk about the UL, okay? 
The reason the UL is god awful and shouldn't be used, actually, we can actually show it to you guys in a second, but let me explain to you guys, is that the main reason is a 30 mag. Yes, an LMG with 30 bullets. That is god awful for a LMG. Not only that, you can increase it to 60 if you want to lose some ADS and some movement speed, but other LMGs will have a base of 60 on its own, even 100, even up to 200. So even there, you're losing out. You don't have any type of insane movement stock. You don't have, you have the, you have the ADS speed one, right? You don't have a movement stock. You have the barrel that gives you movement speed, but you don't have insane movement stock. And you can go with the recoil control if you would like. And the damage is okay, but it's not amazing. You can literally pick any other LMG. It's going to be way better, way, way better. I don't even need to talk too much about it. Even the M4 LMG is going to be a lot better than that, which is typically known to be the worst one. Yes, you can increase its movement speed with a no stock. You can go with the barrel, increase its movement speed. So even the M4 LMG can be a super fast, lightweight kind of gun. I might actually make an M4 LMG uh, video because of how fast you can actually potentially run. But the UL, you'll see. 30 bullets. Look at this. 30 bullets. You guys see that? You guys see how bad this is? 30 bullets. And the, the damage is like 25, so it's good. But like, the rate of fire is not bad, but that recoil, once you get to 20 meter, some crazy horizontal recoil. It's not even worth it. And if you want to look at the other mags, just to compare, RBD, 100, shocker. And for LMG, probably a 60. 60, shocker. S36, probably a 60? 6, 50? 50 mag, it's already even better. That shoots way faster too than the other gun, so. The damage is probably gonna be around the same. So then again, you see, UL, pretty trash. All right, now we're gonna talk about snipers next. Let me tell you guys something about headshot multipliers. First of all, you're gonna have to hit those shots. Second of all, is it really worth it? The XBR and the M21 EPR. Those are gonna be guns that are not gonna be overpowered just because yes, XBR is gonna have that stopping power. So yes, it's gonna be better than the M21 EBR. But in my opinion, these two are not gonna be great because if you look at the gunsmith ability, what do you want to do, like a fast ADS build? I tried using it, it just really wasn't worth it. Why would you use any of these? Like, yes, stopping power is cool, but the M21 EBR doesn't have that, so you don't even have to worry about that. Why, why do that if you can use the Arctic, the DLQ? You know, if you want to have a gun that's like a semi-auto, just use the Arctic, put like a ACOG on it. Bang, you got a better version of the M21 EBR or the XPR. If you want to snipe and have no worry about missing or like if you hit the shot and getting a hit marker, the LQ, there you go. If you want something that has stopping power and a decent rate of fire, I, by rate of fire, I mean um, scope and time, you go with the Locust because it actually has stopping power. Look, stopping power. Wow, insane. And if you want even something even better and you just only want to have fast mobility as well as great scoping speed, you go with the Outlaw. The Outlaw has the potential to have two perks or two attachment that gives you movement speeds. Broken? Probably not. Good? Yes. I used it yesterday. It was pretty good. The Locust, though, I, I didn't get to test it out, so that's going to be potentially good. Now that we talk about the snipers and how you shouldn't be using those two snipers, we're going to talk about the assault rifle, which is going to be kind of a hot topic or more of a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Controversial topic. So as I mentioned, the specific guns that will take advantage of this gunsmithing, so any guns with low rate of fire with high damage will take basically advantage of it because you can reduce the recoil to almost non-existent but also be able to laser from far you do actually miss out on like your ads speed but you're kind of playing more like an lmg style and you're shooting from far reloading and stuff like that the main one i want to talk about is the hvk now the hvk does 20 damage it has a great rate of fire but it's still 20 damage even if you can use the range you can reduce the recoil but again it doesn't have any gunsmith ability that makes it fast ADS, I mean fast movement. So you can't run it like any other SMG where you can have like a huge movement speed boost or anything like that and you can run around, try to get kills. You don't have that option with this. So yes, you can reduce a recoil to almost non-existent, but you're basically using a worse AR or a worse HG40, which does 28 damage close range, or worse SMG, which does 23 damage close range in comparison to HVK who you're gonna have to build your recoil to be super low to kind of manage with it, but lose out on ADS, or you can build your ADS, but also have pretty bad recoil. So that's why it's one of my worst one. I could be wrong about this one. I've been wrong before, but that's in my opinion, obviously. Another one that's gonna be controversial, it's gonna be any guns that have like a low recoil, but that doesn't have any kind of boost to it. So for example, we're gonna talk about the AK-117 and the M4, okay? Those are two beginner-friendly guns, which I think won't be overpowered, however, 
any of these guns can be decent, maybe good, because it has the potential to have a movement speed built. So you guys can see, ADS and the movement speed. Skeleton stock, no stock. You see, you can do the same thing on the barrel. You actually have the, uh, where is it? Uh, was There was a move, here we go. You go with the light barrel, which will give you ADS and movement speed, right? Sometimes there's a grip that will give you that as well, but it doesn't look like in this situation there will be. It doesn't have stopping power, it doesn't have anything crazy like that, but you have the potential, even on the M4, as we mentioned, you have the potential to do the same thing. You have the movement speed, the light stock, you have the no stock, the skeleton stock, or is that a combat stock? No skeleton stock, but you do have the no stock, and you also have the barrel that also makes you movement speed. So potentially you can have kind of a faster run and gun AR, if, since ARs do typically have a pretty good uh, time to kill. Downside, it doesn't four tap close range compared to like the ICR or the Type 25. So that's why these are the other guns that are like very, very on the edge. And I don't think it's gonna be really, really good when it comes to the overpower spectrum of the guns. Like there's gonna be a few guns that are not gonna be overpowered. Like if we talk about the Type 25, it's gonna be good, it has stopping power. M16 is a burst weapon. So any burst weapon, if you reduce the recoil, this instantly lasers. AK-47, ASM, Man of War, um, those are all like long range kind of weapon builds. You can have like zero recoil, but deal mad damage. Same thing for the DRH, which I think could possibly be very good. I can't test it because it has a broken iron sight. And then you have the HBR, the KN, the um, ICR, the LK, which and the BK, which all four taps close range. So potentially you can have a run and gun style with those. And that's why that's a good potential. Those are my guns. I don't know if you guys agree with me or not. All right, that's it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like, share, and subscribe. Let me know in the comments down below. If there's any loadouts you think I may have missed, let me know so that I can actually share it with everyone else, potentially in another video. But let me know in the comments down below. All right, I'm out to you guys next time. Kill it.